So that's it. Now we're moving to the second one, which is the Hellinger distance. Uh, and again, it covers both continuous and categorical data. It is similar to Bhattacharya co coefficient. I hope I pronounced correctly. And, and the way it's similar is basically it's just a mathematical uh, function where the square of Hellinger distance is two times one minus the Bhattacharya coefficient between two uh, distributions. Uh, and but the, uh, the reason I mentioned is that the Bhattacharya coefficient is also quite popular as a distance measure as a divergence measure between two um, distributions. But again, it is not a distance in the sense that it does not fulfill the uh, triangle inequality. Uh, so we decided to implement Hellinger distance instead uh, because it fulfills the triangle inequality, which makes it slightly easier to interpret and work with. And just like uh, jensen shannon distance, it is in zero to one range. And again, zero is no drift, one is significant drift. And the intuition is quite similar again, and I promise you all the others will have completely different intuitions, so bear with me here. Um, and here, what it actually quantifies is the overlap between the probabilities assigned to the same event by two distributions. So let's say you have an event, um, and the event is the value is going to be four. And then it's going to look at this event, and it's going to quantify the overlap between the reference distribution and the analysis distribution. And here we see that the overlap is almost non-existent. And as the overlap increases, then uh, the measure is going to increase, uh, which is uh, here we see the uh, Hellinger, if I remember correctly, divergence, or part of the formula is just the integral of the square root of one multiplied by the other, which is literally just uh, overlap between the probabilities. Um, and similarly, in, in terms of categorical features, uh, you basically take the uh, overlap or lack of overlap here, and you look at the distance, and this distance then is used to calculate the Hellinger, uh, Hellinger distance. Um, it has one potential um, problem, which is it does not differentiate between very strong shifts. So imagine that your um, distributions are already really far apart from each other and there is no common support. So there is no overlap. If there is no overlap, then the Hellinger distance is going to be one. If you move them even further apart, uh, the Hellinger distance is still going to be one. Uh, so that is a potential drawback, but of course in practice that rarely happens. And as you probably already see, it's qualitatively similar to Jensen-Shannon, uh, whereas Jensen-Shannon is slightly more robust changes. And results, as you can see again, very similar, uh, except here it uh, doesn't go that high up in reference, but it's not something to really read into. Uh, the readings here are really, really similar. <laughs> 